every other IPOE, I'm here at Deck Tech's booth at Kit Plus with Nilesh. Huh? Nilesh, Hi. give me a bit of a rundown on your PCI cars because you do a whole range of different stuff from SDI to 2110. Give me a bit of history about the company and, and what you specialize in. Okay. So uh, DeckTech's been running now for 24 years. Yeah. Uh, essentially, we have every type of interface that we use in a broadcast environment, whether it be SDI at the uh, acquisition area, uh, and that would be SDSDI, HDSDI, 3G, 12G, quad link and single link. And we have a whole family of products on that. But we also have our heritage, which comes from the transport stream part. So we have ASI interfaces, uh, which are uh, can be used for STI, but we use it for AS ASI as well. And on top of that, we have software analysis uh, that runs on those uh, interfaces. So essentially, most uh, trans transmission engineers have come grown up with uh, our MBEG analyzer. So anytime there is a problem, they will be using a stream expert analyzer, and most people will accept uh, the findings of that particular analyzer. Uh, so that's uh, the an analyzed part. We also do a multiplexer that's used for DVB real-time multiplexing. Uh, but more importantly these days, a lot of customers are using our products to make their products. So we are used in OEM environments. So that's uh, on the SDI ASI part. On the RF part, we have satellite cable terrestrial modulators to generate signals. Uh, as if you are in a uh, factory making TVs or set-top boxes, you may need a signal from individual countries. And you can use our modulators for that part. Equally, on the other side, we have receivers. So you can use receivers for taking signals like satellite, terrestrial, or cable, and then converting them to IP or whatever you want to do with them. So that's uh, yep. where, where we... Just out of interest, with you, Dexec being a, a Dutch company, doesn't have any affinity with Philips because it, it seems like a lot of technology seems to have yeah. maybe have transitioned from uh, Philips. Uh, it's, it's good that you say that. Uh, yes, um, the founders of the company essentially were working for Philips uh, going back 24 years. Uh, so they've grown up with Philips and the broadcast technologies uh, during that period. Uh, and a lot of the uh, uh, first generation engineers that we have were also Philips. Now, less and less uh, than we get new, new ones directly from universities. Uh, but essentially, Philips runs through our blood, one, uh, through and through. Well, the heritage is still there, at least. Uh, essentially, well, yes. One of the questions I had for you was about IPMX, which is a simplified version of 2110. Can you tell me about how that would work with your ecosystem, and does it work? So uh, we come very much from the broadcast domain, and uh, the SIMT 2010 was uh, the, uh, the initial standard. So we have been working to that and making sure our cards are compliant in that respect for everything we do. Uh, the recent introduction of IPMX is interesting, and we are certainly positive towards it. And I think uh, essentially the card already supports everything SIMT 2010 does, so IPMX is already there. But we haven't gone through the uh, testing purposes to ensure everything is comp compliant on that part. But as, I, as far as I understand, it should be all, all there. What we're trying to do at the moment is have a full family of IP cards. So we started off with a 10 gig card, and now we have a 25 gig card. Our goal is to have the dual port 25 gig card, so it'll do 50 gigs on two SFP ports. Wow. And then hopefully in the future, some further as well. But once we get the, the next one, I think people will uh, have a, a a comprehensive range to operate using deck tech cards and if people wanted to find out a bit more information about deck tech where would they go yeah so we have a comprehensive website uh one there we have all our products that we're shipping uh they can find real time uh, near real time uh shipping information uh, so you can see whether we have those products available you can see all the price points for all our products are already on the website uh, and then uh, for customers who are using our products for OEM, they can contact us directly and we're happy to look at their OEM requirements for larger volumes. Lovely, Lynch. Have a great show.